Let's take a look at BigQuery's architecture in this section. BigQuery's serverless architecture decouples storage and compute and allows them to scale independently on demand. This structure offers flexibility and cost controls that you don't need to keep the expensive computer resources up and running all the time. From the user standpoint, with the serverless service, users do not have visibility or control over individual services or the clusters of servers. This architecture is different from traditional node-based cloud data warehouse solutions or massively parallel processing systems. BigQuery runs data processing jobs that can load, export, copy, or query data. BigQuery has two services, storage service and query service that are connected by Google's high-speed Jupyter networking infrastructure. BigQuery storage service automatically shards and shuffles data in the underlying file system to provide a very high level of service at a huge scales. The storage service manages the data. The tables are stored as a highly compressed columns in the Google's classes file system, which provides durability and availability. The storage service supports bulk data ingest and streaming ingest, so it can work with huge amounts of data and also real-time data streams. The query service runs interactive or batch queries that are submitted through the console, the BigQuery web UI, the BQ command line, or via the REST API. The REST API is supported for seven programming languages. They are also the connectors to other services such as Cloud Data Probe, which simplify the creating complex workflows between BigQuery and other GCP data processing services. The query service can also run query jobs on data contained in the other locations, such as tables in the CSV files hosted in the cloud storage. Under the hood, BigQuery leverages Brog, the larger scale cluster management system, and Dremo, the execution engine for the services. Well, if you want to learn more details under the hood, you can read Google's white paper and inside the look at Google BigQuery. Here's the summary. Dremo is a distributed SQL query engine that can perform complex queries over data stored on GFS, classes, and others. The client applications interact with the Dremo engine via the client interface. Dremo implements a multi-level serving tree to execute queries. The leaves of the tree are slots. Slots do the heavy lifting of reading the data from the distributed storage system classes and doing any compute necessary. The branches of the trees are mixers. Mixers perform the aggregation. Then BigQuery leverages Google's Jupyter network to move data extremely rapidly from one place to another. The mixers and the slots are all run by both. This is the BigQuery's architecture to work as the Elastic Data Warehouse. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.